first episode of Cracker Cast. This is Mr. Cracker, and um, this podcast will be about all things hacking, um, from hacking news, um, just topics in general. It'll hit you know basic topics, advanced topics, mediocre topics. It's for everyone. If you're interested in hacking, maybe never don't know anything about it, you might find this interesting. Um, so basically, don't think you know this is not for you. This is for this is for everyone. Everyone should be able to enjoy this podcast. Um, anyways, um, I'm planning to split split this up into a couple segments. They're not, you know, they're not exactly for sure what they're going to be, but um, I'm thinking about a just uh, you know, what's new with the website, something you know, a little bit of updates in the beginning, and then um, a new section, um, hacking news, security news, uh, and then a main topic, and then at the end we'll we'll have uh, questions, comments, and you can submit those via email. Or voicemail, and I'll have the information for that at the end of the podcast. All right, let's get into the news. All right, first up, we have a uh, malware writers feeding on Twilight Mania. Um, all right, this is this is not a new um, you know technique. Um, you you've seen this happening uh, every time some big event occurs. You know when Obama got elected, um, there was hundreds and hundreds of different spams and malware emails. Uh, about that, because um, you know it's the current topic. People want to read about that, see what's going on. Um, you had it happen when Oprah came out of the closet. Um, no, 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 never mind. That, that, that didn't happen yet. Um, oh, and but yeah, I can see why this works. Basically, they send out millions of spam saying something along the lines of "Check out hot Edward Cullen wallpaper," and you have a bunch of twelve-year-olds clicking on that. Um, turns out it's probably some EXE with horse porn and attached Trojan. Who would have known? Um, what else we got here? China's military says website had 2.3 million attacks. Um, a website set up by China's defense ministry said it was hit by 2.3 million hacker attacks in its first month of operation, but none of them were successful. Wow, that is a crap load of attacks. Um, wonder who who the majority of those were probably unhappy citizens maybe maybe not who knows maybe North Korea um, yeah, who knows it could be anything and it looks like uh, China released a press conference um, here it is it goes something along the lines of um, you don't think this funny we're not you know cool you get no soup for you you don't hack us no maybe no no never mind it's basically this is a big thing and it's getting more and more of a big problem um, cyber warfare I mean, think about it. Um, most of our resources are actually, probably all of our resources are controlled via the internet. Um, think about it. Our water, um, our water, our uh, electricity, the power grids, um, the heat, um, you name it, uh, communication. Um, it's, all, it's all over the internet. It's controlled via the internet. You could definitely gain access to that if, you know, if you have the right information, or you, if you want to, you know, you, someone sets their mind to it, it's definitely possible. It's it's a big threat. So, uh, and and you know, the the situation when um, Estonia, I think it was a Russia who took him out, um, basically sh- took down their banks and their, their 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 economy was pretty much shut down overnight. Um, it's a big threat. Or when Georgia and China and and Russia were in a were in a you know a little battle there, but um, it, this is a this is a big threat for the future. Um, but yeah, China. Yeah, uh, let's see. But I guess they're they're doing good with the uh, computer security wise since they were not penetrated. At least that's what they say. All right, what else we got here? Um, title: MP calls for Scott who hacked Pentagon to be given job. Um, hacker Gary McKinnon should be given a job rather than extradited to the United States, as his skills could be put to good use. This is according to MP Keith Vaz, who heads the Home Affairs Select Committee. Um, I disagree. If I remember back to when this whole Gary McKinnon scenario thing happened, when he hacked into the Pentagon, I think I believe it was, and um, supposedly looking for UFO information, um, according to him, he got into there using a, um, a freely available Perl script that looked for blank password accounts, and I guess there were a crap load of them. That doesn't require much skill, you know. You open command prompt, uh, script that pl. IP address, enter, bam. You know, a list of all, a bunch of free, uh, open password um, accounts. Not much skill involved. So, and considering also the fact that he has been probably not been able to use a computer for the past 
five, ten years, however long this has been going on. This has been going on for a pretty long time, um, probably almost ten years. So you know, a lot has changed in that amount of time, and um, definitely not up to date. And you know, so I don't, I don't think maybe giving him a job is the best idea. But come on, this has been going on for so long. He obviously is not a threat. Um, he's not going to do it again, obviously. Um, what else do you got here? Um, he, they want to give him, like, what, 73 years or something like that? It's ridiculous. Just let him go. Ah, man, the legal system. Anyways, what else we got here? Students signing up for computer hacking. Um, this is from the United Kingdom. Um, kind of kind of laid off the bat. This is going on for a while now. Um, I know here in the United States we have a bunch of college courses and a lot of colleges that support or that actually have um, ethical hacking courses available in degrees. So, uh, you know, not new. But yes, it is the future. There is definitely a demand for computer security specialists, um, ethical hackers. Um, great career, in my opinion. I'm getting into it. And uh, yeah, what else we got here? That's pretty much it. Oh, here's another one. Uh, teen gets prison term for attack on Scientology website. Dimitri Guznier, probably a Ruski fella, also ordered to pay $37,500 to Church of Das Didas for Didas attack in 2008. Yep. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to comment on this. I have too many bad things to say. And uh, that's pretty much the news for now. Um, there's, a, there's, a lot, there's a lot more news, um, but I'm not going to read them all. Um, so if you want to read up on the news, stay up to date, get notified via email of all the news going on in the hacker world, um, go ahead to my to um, the uh, website mrcracker.com and look on the right-hand right -hand side for um, a opt-in box. Yeah, put in your email, name, submit, um, confirm your email, and bam, you'll be getting weekly um, newsletter with the current news. And that is all for the news for this week. Let's go on to the main topic. Alright, so the topic is, what is a hacker? Now, when someone mentions uh, a hacker, um, everyone else autom automatically assumes he's uh, some kind of criminal. He does criminal activities. He uh, he hacks people's Facebooks. It's probably usually the first one. That's what people think when they think hacking. Oh, hack my Facebook. Hack someone else's Facebook. No, um, they think. Uh, oh, can you hack bank accounts? Uh, can you just transfer a million bucks from like this bank um, into like Zimbabwe? My bank account there and some alias. No. Um, Oh, can you teach me how to hack so I can make money? Like, what do you mean to make money? Uh, so I can, you know, make it back a bank account or something? No, come on. That, that's not what all hacking is about. And it's not, and I mean, it's not their fault. I mean, not exactly. Um, maybe you can call it ignorance, but not really because today's media, all that, the, the only way it portrays hackers is um, some, some uh, dude in this little basement with like 40 screens hacking the the government or uh, transferring money or from this bank account or doing things like that just um, illegal criminal activities and they kinda kinda perverted the word hacker so now everyone basically assumes that the word hacker uh, goes along, go along with uh, computer hacking and it doesn't have to be just computer hacking that's also another thing and that um you know it's all kind of criminal activity um, also if you read the news every single day it's the only hacker um, news out there is the negative ones where someone gets caught for doing something like hacking China or Obama's email or Twitter you know it's it's all it's all the same um, and if you subscribe if you subscribe to the uh, my uh, uh, newsletter and you'll get the news updates every single week you'll see that's the, the only pretty much the only emails um, the, I mean updates um, news updates for under the hacking category they're all pretty much negative for the word to the, for the term hacking at least but um it doesn't have to be um, um, everyone f everyone that hears the word hacking they fail to realize that hacking isn't just about computer hacking hacking is pretty much a lifestyle it's a it's a mindset um, philosophy um, and um, uh, I believe his name is Schneier if that's not how you pronounce it well uh, too bad but um at Schneider.com, I'll link to his article in my show notes. But um, he, I believe, puts it the best, and I recommend. Um, I'll read a couple sentences, but I, I really recommend you go read this article. It'll be in the show notes because it's a really great read, and it'll it'll open up your mind if you don't really 
I understand this yet. But um, he wrote, A hacker is someone who thinks outside the box. It's someone who discards conventional wisdom and does something else instead. It's someone who looks at the edge and wonders what's beyond. It's someone who sees a set of rules and wonders what happens if you don't follow them. A hacker is someone who experiments with the limitations of systems for intellectual curiosity.